Extraordinary marine biodiversity defines what has become known as the Coral Triangle, an area that stretches thousands of miles and links the six nations of Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Timor-Leste, Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands. Its unparalleled reefs support thriving fisheries and tourism industries and underpin communities and economies throughout the region. It is also a nursery ground and migratory pathway for commercially valuable tuna species such as yellowfin, big eye and skipjack, ensuring food security to 120 million people inhabiting its shores and feeding millions more around the world. However, impacts arising from overfishing, the use of destructive fishing practices, uncontrolled development and pollution has posed major challenges to the sustainability of coral triangle resources. The protection of the coral is very important because the coral is also the basis for a healthy fisheries. And if we don't do anything now, we will lose this incredibly important area for future generations. If we don't take care of nature, it's not going to take care of us. For almost a decade, there has been a significant joint effort throughout the region to preserve these marine and coastal resources. To date, more than 1,500 marine conservation areas have been established. These conservation areas need to be effectively implemented and managed, requiring capable administrators and stakeholders. This can only be achieved through training and capacity building throughout the entire region. It's an enormous challenge, and CTC is taking on that challenge. In its five-year history, CTC has trained more than 2,000 MPA managers and stakeholders, established marine conservation areas in Nusa Penida and the Bandar Islands that function as field learning sites and is now working on Ataro Island in Timor-Leste. What makes CTC different is that it is a local organization and I very much hope that as we try to conserve our marine resources, we not only utilize the latest technology and knowledge that is available, but we also capture the local wisdom of coastal communities. The training from CTC is where it is involved with us all, from the Post Pengawasan, from the TWP Laut Banda, from the Police, from the Angkatan Laut, from the STP, that's all we are involved in. CTC is using a bottom-up approach to engage all people living on the coast to care for our oceans. Kalau dibilang itu peran CTC itu banyak sekali di sini, pak. Istilahnya membantu sekali di bidang nelayan tu membantu. Di sini dari CTC juga memberikan penjelasan untuk memberikan pengertian sehingga tidak terulang lagi menggunakan kompresor rokah yang sudah dilarang. Since CTC has been taking an active role in uh, putting together the marine park project and actually getting a marine park going, conditions around the marine park have definitely improved. For us being um, registered in Indonesia, being a local organization with a regional scope of work and a global impact, uh, makes all the difference in our strategies and our approach and our ability to operate in this part of the world. To me, CTC is a very unique. Unique in terms of the, not only dealing with the natural resources, but also dealing with life. This is important. Actually, managing MPA, managing marine protected area, managing ocean, basically is managing people. By year 2020, Indonesia has to achieve 20 million hectares of marine protected areas. The training of CTC is very practical and customized to the local cultural context and equips the people to use it in their work and daily life. The work that the Coral Triangle Centre is doing to train uh, governments to also train and build capacity of uh, local communities is really important. Well, to date we have more than uh, 24 training modules that are very practical and based on the demands in the field. CTC conducts capacity building in other Coral Triangle countries with a unique and integrated portfolio of training, field exchanges, field learning sites, 
learning networks and partnerships. CTC promotes learning by doing in its fieldwork, where learning sites function as living laboratories for collaborative conservation management. I found this training to be quite helpful actually because we do a lot of work with local communities in trying to help them develop resource management plans. We need the Coral Tunga Centre Hub now because the coral reefs are destroyed at a staggering rate. We need more MPAs, more marine protected areas. So park managers can learn at the hub, the larger public, the tourists, the school children, and everyone can be part of the solution. CTC is building partnerships with leaders in government, communities, NGOs, educators and the private sector. It is only by engaging all constituencies that solutions can be effective. After all, we are all interconnected. What we do impacts all of us and everything on the planet. We feel that the defining decade is now.